Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards, that's toy-wizards.com, and I'm back for another spontaneous toy review. And please excuse the voice today, I do have a cold. <sighs> to not be exempt, right? Alright, so what are we checking out today? Today we are going to be looking at this pack, these are so cool, 20 die-cast Power Ranger figures by Jada Toys. I got these on Amazon, this entire pack of 20 toys, 20 figurines, um, inch and three quarters, two inches, was $25. Um, Jada Toys has always been known for just being super affordable. Most popular, I would say, is their line of um, Hollywood rides. So it's these replicas of cars for movies. Um, most seen are like the Fast and the Furious cars, but they also have licenses like Ghostbusters, Transformers, and DC. So you'll see something like a car inspired by the joker and it has like joke it's a die cast car with joker's colors and it might it may or may not come with like a little uh joker figurine same thing with like spider-man which is marvel um a car inspired by spider-man with a little may or may not come with a little figurine what's cool about those is while i'm a big proponent of you collect whatever you want but out there there may be some really expensive Ghostbuster um, Ecto-1 replicas, and you can get one from Jada Toys that sits on your desk, and it's like 6 or $7. So there is merit to really super affordable die-cast toys. So I didn't know that Jada Toys had the Power Ranger license. And when I did a little bit of research, I saw that they had these kind of like die-cast figurines that sort of looked like Funko Pops. Um, I've never seen one in the stores, never seen anything Power Rangers related from Jada, and then all of a sudden, this pack of 20 figures popped up, and we're going to be opening this and taking a peek. So included in this, and again, it's $25. I'll put a link um, in the description. And I'm as of this very recording, I'm not quite sure if it's still available. Last I saw, this was out of stock or orders were being canceled or something was going on. And I was prepared for that. I was like, oh, I'm like, I ordered it. It's not going to come. That happens with toys. And then it showed up. So we have Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, Mighty Morphin Black Ranger, Mighty Morphin Blue Ranger, Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger, Mighty Morphin Yellow Ranger, Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, Mighty Morphin White Ranger. We have Lord Dracon, who they, they credit as Mighty Morphin on this, but Lord Dracon, as we know, is from the Boom comic book. Uh, we have Green Zeo, Gold Zeo, uh, Tri <laughs> Trisaic Ranger, Trisa oh, I'm gonna get everyone's gonna come at me. Dino Thunder. Uh, Korag, Mystic Force, Wolf Warrior, Mystic Force, Ninjor, Mighty Morphin, Psycho Red, In Space, Phantom Ranger, Turbo, Rita, Rita Repulsa, Mighty Morphin, Goldar, Mighty Morphin, Lord Zed, Mighty Morphin, and Scorpina. So, like, <laughs> just the four baddies and then all the Mighty Morphins makes it worth its money if you're just an old school collector. The fact that there's things from, like, Mystic Force and Zeo and Turbo is, like, so cool. So let's see here. Yeah, we have the Hasbro logo. Um, we have, where is it? Uh, where are we sent? Oh, wait a minute. I'm not seeing the Hasbro logo anywhere on this. Ooh, is there something I don't know? Oh, no, there it is. Just kidding. False alarm. Let's open this up and take a peek, shall we? In today's episode of Lauren Can't Open the Packaging. <laughs> and it's like scotch tape I just don't want to tear it open like a kid on Hanukkah you know I want to be considerate I want to open things like a grown up and it's so easy not to it's so easy just to rip it open like a lunatic that's why you should revere people who open things carefully there we are that slides right open okay I did it I was careful <laughs> look at this And like smoky, ooh, it's a smoky. All righty, let's get peeking. So these are like tucked in here. And so you might be asking yourself, what do you do? These are nice and heavy, Mighty Morphin Red. What do you do with 20 die cast Power Rangers figures? And my answer to you is anything you want. Um, I was the sort of kid all right, I was the sort of kid that 
I like the paint on these. This is, this is really good for something so tiny. Yeah, really good paint. And again, these are all made of metal. Metal. Um, I would have just played with these. I wouldn't have cared that they were tiny. I would have just played Power Rangers with all these figures. I would have set up this, like, incredible world. Which is funny that I'm not into anything like Warhammer or any of those, like, lavish, beautiful role-playing games where you build a world and have figurines that you paint. Like, I just never got into it. But considering how severely I immersed in play, like, I would have loved these. I think this might be the most honest Rita figure to date. Come on. No. Oh, 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 there she is. Yeah, this might be the most honest Rita figure. Her cones are black. I think they're supposed to be gray, right? Are they black? Maybe they're black on her dress. I don't pay attention. Really like the copper paint there. Very smart choice. I am a habitual Goldar collector. Goldar and Lord Zed are my dudes. I really like... Come on, just a little more. I really like the blue paint on the face. Sorry, it's not focusing more. They're tiny. What can you do, right? Come on, get in there. Get in there. Yeah, it's not good. You guys can see my chewed up fingernails. Oh, oh there he is. Um, these are so cool. Like I said, I love, I love Lord Zed. Jewish heavy metal guar brethren. His little, I don't know why it is. Maybe it's because the figures are tiny, but I'm very aware of the little silver underpants. This is cool. Look at that pose, dude, right? Mm. Victorious. Look at him. That is so cool. Great pose. Great pose on all of these. These are all, again, metal. Very considerately posed. So if you're not like me, and you're not somebody who would have, as a kid, or today, no judgment, I like legitimately played with these, Ms. Scorpina. That's uh, Goldar's baby mama and the original Zero Ranger, from what I understand. Um, yeah, if you weren't the sort to actually play with these, like set up a world and play with these, um, you can use them as game pawns still. Like, if, if, like my kids, my kids play a lot of Candyland and they make me play a lot of Candyland. So instead of just the little yellow gingerbread pawn, I could be like the yellow ranger instead. That would be way fun. Dracon. Dracon's cool, dude. They did good things with that character design. Awesome sword. Little pose, you know, he's just ready to go. Uh, let's see here. We're not going to look at all of all of these because I'm not going to take up anyone's time. I will say that I'm not, I think they may have, I wouldn't have chosen that green for Mighty Morphin Green. I would have done a little bit darker of a dark, like a dark grass green or like a dark jungle green. This has a little bit too much blue in it for me, but I still appreciate it. The dragon dagger is silver. Again, it's tiny. Like, you know, people are always saying like, you have to forgive certain things. Like when they're an inch tall, that's when you, for that's when you forgive certain things. <laughs> you can go to toy-wizards.com to read recent snarkticles about the odd choices in Power Ranger uh, Megazord reveals from Hasbro. Very, very odd, but again, in one-inch metal toys from Jada, I will forgive certain things, because they're tiny and mass-produced. But these are cool. There's pink in her little triumphant pose. Oh, and look at this. Here, I'll show you yellow. And they're going toward each other, so you can pose them as such. They were always posed together, even before... Even before um, Saban turned the Yellow Ranger into a girl, they were always posed together. So they're at the bottom, well, they're at the top of the pyramid and stuff. And I'll do a couple more. These are so cool. What would you guys use these for? Um, I'm figuring they can be just like, uh, they can be desk tchotchkes. They can be, you can set up scenes on your shelf or in your cabinet. Again, you can use them to play with. You can use them as game pawns. Um, there is that, what is that, Heroes of the Grid board game? Use them in there. For all I know, they come in there. I, I don't have the board game. I'm not going to lie to you. These are super, super beautiful. And then I'll show the whole set one more time. 
we have here's the whole set a little more close up Ooh, pretty yeah these are super great and i mean look think about it twenty dollars i'm sorry 20 figures at $25 for the set, that's not even $2 each. $2 each would be, what, 40 bucks, and these were 25. That's fantastic. So either, these are under a dollar each. I've gone to dollar stores, and I've seen um, Jada Toys, like Nano Figs um, of DC characters, and, you know, those are a dollar. I've gone to, like, other discount stores, like Ross, and they're over a dollar. So, and these aren't even discounted. These are just fresh. <laughs> these are these are freshly, fresh for purchase, and they are fantastic. So yeah, if you guys are Power Ranger fans or you want to see something different, a different sort of merchandise, these are really, really cool, and they just kind of showed up out of nowhere. So I am a fan. So thank you guys again for hanging out with me. I'm Lauren Stone with Toy Wizards. That's toy-wizards.com. Uh, stick with us all week for new toy news, toy reviews, listicles, snarkticles, opinion pieces, announcements, and we will catch you soon, okay? Be good, be safe, have fun, collect your toys. <laughs> all right, bye.